Welcome back to another video guys, let's cook up lunch. So, we're going to make a simple pasta sauce and sausage dish. So, we're going to be using the Tranja spirit burner here. That's also got myself this windshield. Uh, not that I really need it down here, but we'll use it anyway. So, we'll just set that up like so. It's got some little pins that you can drive into the ground if you need. There we go. And then we'll take our spirit burner here, full of fuel, place it in there, as level as we can. A bit, hold on, there's a rock causing problems. So flatten out the ground, there we go. Pop our hot supports together, usual kit, usual kit. Like that works. Pop the pot support on. Get your pot. Get your water, which you've filtered out the river, and put it in. Usual cat it in B3. That should be enough. Stove is definitely lit. So we can pop our lid onto our pot. Arms out. And pop it on. And wait for that to boil. So that's our water basically boiling at this point. So we can go ahead and drop in our pasta. Got about two handfuls and a bit and a little bit more. Probably more than enough. Actually almost three handfuls worth. And give it a stir straight away. That stops it sticking. Bring that back up to the boil and let that cook. Chopping board. Bit of smoked sausage so this is the protein I tend to put into this so all to do with that this is just roughly slice it up keep it relatively thin as it's not gonna have long to well it doesn't need to be cooked it is pre-cooked uh, well smoked um, but it's you still want it when you cook when you do cook it for it to be hot um, and as such you want to keep it quite thin because otherwise it will uh, take too long so at this point our pasta's back up to the boil I'm taking the lid off and I'm leaving the lid off now because otherwise the foam just boils up too much Because once you get these spirit burners going, they get real quite hot, actually. The other part of this dish is, of course, the sauce. So this is just a Dolmio uh, stirring tomato sauce. Um, and we'll add that in later on. So that's been about five minutes. It's looking cooked, so what we'll do is just get a piece, just one, and just check. Yep, uh, well, 30 seconds at most. Um, I did forget salt today, so it's not salted water, which would be better, but we won't notice once the sauce is in. So, call it there. Check the handles aren't too hot, and I'm just going to strain this off using the lid.
So we need to be careful with this next bit because it, we don't want it to burn um, and it will very easily. So I'm going to add the sauce in off the heat. And then mix that through. Add in our sausage and mix that through. And then for very short bursts, we place it back onto the heat. Give it 10, 15 seconds, take it off, give it a stir. You already start to hear it uh, sizzle. And that's when it'll start to burn, so take it off again, give it a good stir, back on again, and there we go. We'll take that off, put the lid on it to keep it hot, take the pot stand off, Ooh, wrong one, pot stand off, simmering, a on, stove is out, sit back and enjoy it. So I've just uh, decanted some of it into my uh, cooker here. For the aesthetics. That is just fantastic. It's exactly what you need when you're out in the woods or whatever. Super lightweight. Works as both a lunch uh, but also a tea, a dinner. So yeah, there we go. That's going to do it for this one guys. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and if you're new here, please do consider subscribing down below. Check out the recipe for this in the description and until next time, bye for now.